In this video, we are going to see about coefficient quantization. In finite word length effects, when you are performing quantization, there are different types of errors occurs. The types of errors are input quantization error, product quantization error and coefficient quantization error. Here we are going to discuss about coefficient quantization error. When the filter coefficients are quantized, the frequency response of the actual filter deviates from the original value. Because of coefficient quantization, the filter may also fail to meet the desired specifications. When the ports of the desired filter are close to the unit circle, when you are performing quantization, the quantized coefficients may lie outside the unit circle. Because of this, we will get oscillations in the filter so that stable filter can be changed to an unstable filter. These are the effects we are facing because of coefficient quantization error. Here we see an example which shows the effects of coefficient quantization error. We are going to consider a second order IAR filter with the system function h of z is equal to 1 by 1 minus 0.5 z inverse multiplied by 1 minus 0.45 z inverse. We have to find the effects of quantization in their pole location using direct form realization and cascade form realization. Here we are going to consider the number of bits is equal to 3 bits. First we will check with the direct form realization. For the given transfer function, the poles are z is equal to 0.5 and z is equal to 0.45. When you are multiplying the two terms, you will get 1 minus 0.5 z inverse minus 0.45 z inverse plus 0.225 z power minus 2. So h of z is equal to 1 by 1 minus 0.95 z inverse plus 0.225 z power minus 2. Now the coefficients are 0 0.95 and 0 0.225. Here we see the effects of coefficient quantization. One coefficient is 0 0.95. When you are converting to binary, it can be represented as 0 0.1111 like this. Here it is asked to consider only 3 bits. So when you are truncating the 3 bits, we will get 0 0.110. The decimal equivalent of this can be written as 0 0.875. The next coefficient is 0 0.225. The binary equivalent is represented like this. Here also we are going to consider only 3 bits. We are going to perform truncation. So when you are taking only the 3 bits after this binary point, so the decimal equivalent of that can be represented as 0 0.125. So, after truncation, the coefficient 0 0.95 is changed as 0 0.875, 0 0.225 is changed as 0 0.125. So, the transfer function is replaced like 1 by 1 minus 0.875 z inverse plus 0.125 z power minus 2. When you are finding the roots of this denominator, we will get 0 0.695 and 0 0.18. So, these two are considered to be the new poles. Now, we will see the effect of coefficient quantization in cascade form realization. The transfer function is given like this. Here, we are going to consider h of z as product of h1 of z and h2 of z. So, we are going to consider h1 of z as 1 by 1 minus 0.5 z inverse. And h2 of z as 1 by 1 minus 0.45 z inverse. Here the original poles are 0 0.5 and 0 0.45. Now we are going to quantize this coefficients that is 0 0.5 and 0 0.45. 0 0.5 the binary equivalent of this can be written like this. Here we are going to truncate 3 bits. So again we will get 0 0.100. When you are finding the decimal equivalent of that it will be also equal to 0 0.5. So the original coefficient that is 0 0.5 is written as it is 0 0.5. When you are truncating the next coefficient that is 0 0.45, the binary equivalent of that can be written as 0 0.0111 like that it will be going on. And when you are truncating it to 3 bits, it becomes 0 0.011. The decimal equivalent of that will be 0 0.375. So in cascade form, the new coefficients are 0 0.5 and 0 0.375. Here the poles also equal to 0 0.5 and 0 0.375. From this example we are coming to a conclusion that the original poles are 0 0.5 and 0 0.45 from the transfer function given in the example. In direct form 
After coefficient condensation, we are getting the new pulses 0.695 and 0.18. So when you are comparing the original pulse with the new pulse, the quantized pulse are deviating very much from the original pulse. But when you are considering the cascade form realization, after coefficient condensation, the new poles are 0.5 and 0.375. So one pole is exactly same as that of the original pole and the other pole is very close to the original pole. So we can prefer cascade form realization when compared to direct form realization when you are going for coefficient condensation. Thank you for watching this video.